everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my August favourites video which is something I've wanted to do for a while. These favourites videos always have a habit of catching up with me and before I know it I'm halfway through the next month and it's too damn late. So this is the 1st of September so I'm on track and I'm going to run through what I've been using lots of in August. So I think I'm going to start off with skincare because that seems the most natural way to start. So, so the first product that I want to talk to you about is by Espar. Now I'm trained with Espar products so I'm going to be a bit biased here because I use them in my everyday work um, when I'm at the salon but I wouldn't suggest anything to you guys and use anything at home if it wasn't decent so I can absolutely promise that their skincare range is fantastic. It's like 99% all natural so that is also a massive bonus for me. Now I've been using this micellar cleanser and I am, for those that know me, very lazy when it comes to skincare. Now, that doesn't go to say that I don't like do a weekly like facial in the bath or anything like that. Of course I do. But at the end of a long night, like because I normally get in like 10 o'clock at night when I'm at the salon, the last thing I want to be doing is like taking off, like doing a full cleansing routine. And I really don't like the face wipes because I think that they've got so much like nastiness in them and they're not that great for your skin even though they get the makeup off. So I have been loving this. So much so, can you hear that? There's like a drop left, I'm gutted. Thing I love about this is it smells like a proper spa treatment. It smells really herby and it's got lots of essential like sort of smelling oils in there. Um, and it's one step. So literally the top has this little pump you pop a little cotton round over it, pump it on, job done. It takes makeup off as well as leaving your skin feeling refreshed and like it's actually had a bit of like a treatment. Um, Sean, my partner, even said to me like, what have you got on your face? And I'm like, it's just my cleanser. So he has actually been stealing this, which would suggest why it's run out so quickly. But the good thing I'll say about this as well is um, it's 24 pounds, which is quite pricey from my cellar water. But I must say, this has lasted me since June and I've been using it every single night. So I think with a better quality product, you get a lot more um, sort of slip and glide, so you don't need as much. So really recommend that. I'm going to talk to you about that's an S bar one is the Pink Hair and Scalp Mud. Now, I do use this on my scalp because I wear my hair up a lot now um, for the treatments that I do at work. I tend to get like all around my hairline, it goes quite red because of the sort of stress of pulling on my hair um, when I wear it up. So I've been using this on my scalp, we use it in facial treatments to like massage and it's beautiful. But another thing that I found a really good use for it, and they actually said this in the training but I thought yeah whatever, but it's true. I, <laughs> this is so awkward, but anyway I'm going to just put it out there. Sean used my razor, my razor that I use for my, you know, lady bits. And I got really bad shaving rash because I didn't realise he'd used it till it was too late. Shaving with a rump blazer, never good. <laughs> so, did I just say blazer? I meant razor. Anyway, so I put some of this on my shaving rash and oh my god, overnight it cured me. It went from irritated to soothed. It's amazing. And they also recommend that you can use this on sunburn. Now I don't get sunburn an awful lot but... Um, Sean does so he got some and put it on his arms and it went down like within a few hours it's amazing this product is fantastic they even say that you can use it when you're pregnant on your bump to stop stretch marks and stop the itching so thoroughly recommend that like I say the actual treatment is supposed to be used on your head and your scalp and makes your hair really soft but there are tons of uses for it also now moving on to makeup which I know everyone wants to skip to anyway it's the fun bit I want to talk about a bronzer that I've been meaning to get for ages but never got round to and that is the Bronze Goddess Bronzer by Estee Lauder. Now I wanted to originally to get this in medium deep but they only had medium so I snapped it up anyway and I have been loving this. I've been using it on all my makeup clients for I've had loads of weddings and also been using it on myself. I wouldn't say it's quite dark enough for me but what I do love about it is that there's not much shimmer which is a plus. You get a lot of product, it also comes with a little free brush, but I don't really use that too much anyway, and I'm not the sort of person that likes to take makeup and, and sort of like top it up, so I generally just get rid of these brushes, which is a bit of a waste really, but pigmentation is fantastic, it's really good for like bronzing the neck as well, because it's such a big um, bronzer, you feel like, you know, you can really get in there and 
you know, bronze all over if you need to. I'd really, really recommend it. The packaging's beautiful. The mirror that you get inside is a good size, so like you can actually sit and do your makeup with it. So yeah, I really recommend it. The next one. thing that I'm gonna rave about is, you've probably seen me use it in every single one of my makeup looks, but it's become a bit of a savior to me because for two reasons. It's just the best tool I've ever used for my foundation. And secondly, with the summer heat that we've been having in the UK, I found that it's really helped my makeup stay in place because it pushes the product in. And that is the Beauty Blender. And I'm sure you know tons about this already, but it's a little egg. It's much smaller than this normally. This one's a bit tattered. You can see how much I love it. Because it has, like, hopefully that'll focus. And not on my face. I give up. I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, um, it's actually got little rips on it because I use it so much. Um, I've had this one since February. I got it in America and I've used it non-stop. I would pretty much say if there was a yearly favourite, this would be it. Um, but for August, it's also having pride of place. Um, it's fantastic. It's really good. You just, you dampen it and it's great for putting on foundation. It's great for under eyes. It helps reduce any drag as well because as I'm getting older I'm thinking to myself oh god the, the less I can drag my skin under my eyes the better so go and get a beauty blender spend the money on it it will feel like it's a fortune for a piece of sponge but I promise it is so last beauty product that I want to talk about is the Anastasia modern renaissance palette I freaking love this now I was really dubious about spending I think it was 42 pounds on it and I ummed and ahed and I thought, mm, is it really going to be that great? I'll show you the colours. If it stops focusing on my face. <laughs> Hi. So the colours are beautiful. They're really warm, earthy tones, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, I was a little bit scared about the pinks and reds because I thought, oh my God, we spend such a long time trying to get rid of redness on our face. Is this going to look like horrendous? But no, they with brunette eyes, I've tried them on green as well. They just look really autumnal. They don't look like red, tear stained eyes at all. They are gorgeous. The only thing that I would stress that I dislike about this product is the packaging. Now this mainly is because I'm a makeup artist and I'm carting my products around with me. But I've had this for a little over like three weeks and it's already stained and tatty. It's like that sort of velvet touch to it. So, and it's very pink. So of course anything's gonna grab to it. It's just got really dirty really quickly, which is such a shame for the price, and obviously you want it to look nice, um, but hey-ho. Um, pigmentation is fantastic on these. Um, you literally just need to tap your brush into it, and you get enough colour to do your whole lid. It's insane. In fact, I know it's a lot of money, but I really would recommend splashing out on it. I think it's probably going to be limited edition if it's um, limited edition, sorry. I need to slow down. Because it's Anastasia Beverly Hills, I would suggest that it's going to be limited edition, so I would hurry up and get it. I think I got mine from Cult Beauty. So yeah, £42, well spent. Moving on to hair, which is a bit silly to mention this because I've got straight hair today, which I never ever wear. Um, but I have been loving the GHD curling wand. Now, they use this on me and my hairdressers and I am, for one of these people, I cannot curl my hair with straighteners, ever. I know everyone says it's really easy, I do not find it easy. So when she used this on me, which is like, I think it's the biggest one that I got, the biggest barrel that you can get because of the length of my hair. So I got this one and it is fantastic. It creates really like beachy waves rather than ringlets, which I, I hate that look. Um, and I got a really good tip with it is to leave like a little bit of your hair at the end out and then it looks more beachy. I think I'm gonna try and do a tutorial on this even though I'm not the best at hair. I'm not gonna start saying I can do hair because I'm really not that great. But when I do use this, I get lots of compliments on my hair, so I think you might wanna see it. But yeah, if you've got one of these, let me know how you get on with it because I freaking love this thing. And so the next thing that I wanna talk about, and I'm probably gonna be the most passionate about this one, is food. Food favorites for the month. I have been loving the M&S Roly Poly Swirls Biscuits. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I've been loving. Now, I'm so surprised that I've managed to keep, and you know what, that's probably why this video is on time, because I'm desperate to eat these, but I'm like, no, I've got to keep them fully wrapped for my video. Sean's tried to eat them a few times, and I'm like, leave them alone. So yeah, these are heaven in a biscuit. Now, if you're a child that went to primary school in the 90s, the early 90s, 
You'll remember, I don't know if it was just my school, raspberry biscuits in the tuck shop that they used to bake. They were like 10p. They were heaven. Me and my friends remember them. Now, these bad boys taste just like it. They're so like buttery and crumbly. Oh, I can't eat, I think it's, yeah, raspberry custard flavour um, based on the traditional 19th century British pudding. Heaven, get them. I wanted to talk about a favourite TV show that we've been watching. Um, and I mentioned, I touched on it slightly in my 73 questions video, and that is Stranger Things. Now, I hate sci-fi, like anything to do with aliens or like anything that's like way too out there, I'm like, whatever. Like, this is crap. I won't even watch the film Alien because I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> anyway, this was recommended to me, um, so I thought, right, I'm gonna give it a go while I'm waiting for Walking Dead to come back on. Oh, Phoebe, stop. <gasps> oh my God, it is amazing. I love The Goonies, and it has that real feel of The Goonies, like real 80s vibe, and it's so nostalgic to me. I wanna be back there, I love it. Um, the storyline is really strong, and the acting is absolutely phenomenal. And I was so into it, and I think that they're doing another series now next year, so there's not too long to wait, 2017, so. Fingers crossed, because I'm like, what's gonna happen next? You think everything's come to a nice rounded end, but no, something happens in the last scene and you're like, what the, what? <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't seen it, it's a Netflix one, I think, um, please give it a go. Everyone that I've recommended to it to has loved it. So yeah, let me know if you've seen it in the, in the um, comments below. I'd love to chat to someone who's watched it because I'm a geek like that. So the last thing that I want to talk about is a purchase, sort of like, a favourite item that I've been wearing or like yeah accessory this bad boy now I went into Zara to get a decent sized handbag because my handbag is tatty and ruined whatever and I found this little guy which is just about bigger than my head it's totally impractical but I love it I love anything tan I love anything with like gold bugs and like gold detailing like animals, things like that. I, I think it's a little scarab beetle, correct me if I'm wrong, but I love this. It's got a light, nice long handle, and I originally thought, oh, it could be like a little camera bag for when I'm vlogging and stuff like that, but I pretty much use it every day throughout August. I think because the weather's been hot, I've not needed so much in my handbags. Um, it's actually worked out really, really well, so I think it was only £25 as well from Zara, which is really good value. I often find that with Zara. Sometimes I'll go in there and I'll see things and I'm like, it's like extortionate and then other times I'm like, it's really good value. So they are my favourites for August. I hope that you enjoyed that. I would love it if you would link me below with your favourites if you've done a similar video or if there's anything that you've been loving that you think I would love, let me know because then I'm like, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.